You want to live as a full-time RVer, but how do you make money? Find out next. Welcome to the channel. I'm Paul. And I'm Liz. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you will certainly live amazing if you can figure out a way to be a full-time RVer and live and have enough money to do it comfortably. Yeah, that is a problem that keeps a lot of people from hitting the road. As you probably know, Paul and I are full-time RVers. We've been on the road for three and a half years, and we hear from a lot of people that are trying to get out on the road, but they don't know how to make money. And we just have a great answer for you. Yeah, we've uh, we sort of stumbled onto it. Um, well, let me back up. We finally watched the movie Nomad Land, and it kind of disturbed us both <laughs> uh, because it it really put our lifestyle under a under a dark cloud. You know, it looks like like we're out here homeless, and and we are, but mm -hmm. but it looks like we're out here just barely scraping by, and. I personally, I think that movie was was less about a full-time RV lifestyle and more about a, a broken individual. If you haven't seen that movie, it's about a solo RVer who's really struggling to get by. She works at Amazon. She's working those crazy hours. She's hustling. She's working the sugar beet harvest. And it, it really looks hard. And I want to say it doesn't have to be that hard. And this video is about the KOA Work Camper program that we just learned about, which is fabulous. It will give you, in most cases, a free campsite and with full hookups. And in some cases pays you, what, $15 an hour, up to $15 an hour. If you have no, no pension or no 401k or whatever, um, and you're just living on Social Security, this might be the way to do this life. Yeah, we're going to share some examples. So to give you an overview, KOA has over 500 campgrounds across the country. They have a work camper program. It's only $50 a year, and it gives you access to all the jobs. Right now, there are over 200 job openings, and you work a season. You work three months, four months, six months. If you sign up, please tell them that Liz Amazing sent you. And so let's talk about the type of jobs. If you've ever been to a campground, there's just the typical yeah. jobs. You're going to work the front desk. You're going to you know, help with reservations, or you're going to do maintenance, light maintenance, or maybe heavy-duty maintenance, or housekeeping. Yeah, I mean, if you're good with people, they're going to put you behind the front desk. If you're, if you're um, not... <laughs> if you're if you're <laughs> if you're like me and you're not good with people you <laughs> you, uh, you you clean uh, the pool you, you clean the pool you do you do light maintenance or you know I, I could do pretty much anything they asked me to do right or clean the sites you know and and there's all different stuff but let's share some examples I'm gonna, we're, we'll just kind of weave in I've got uh, several examples and we'll just kind of weave them in because I know you're gonna have some questions so the first example is you're working front desk maintenance and housekeeping. So you're doing a little bit of all the three main jobs. $15 an hour, you get a free full hookup site, 25% store discount and free laundry. I mean, yeah. that, that could be, you that's, know. That's a big part of the expense of being on the road. I mean, right now the biggest expense is fuel. But if you're doing one of these campsite host type jobs, uh, you're not going to be traveling a lot, so it's going to you're going to save on fuel. You're not going to be paying for laundry, which is you know it's not huge, but, but you know ten bucks a week probably on average if you're using the laundromat. Yeah, and you can choose the length of jobs. You can do this for three months, or typically typically the season is five months, six months. So you can just move by the season. And we actually met people, and that's another part of you know, why we're doing this video is we were at the KOA Point South and we met the people and let me tell you, it was not like they were working at Amazon and hustling at all. Yeah, you know? they were very relaxed, very friendly and, and it wasn't forced. I mean, it was just a very relaxed atmosphere at this, at this campground. Yeah, it's like you had your own work family, which is another thing about being on the road. It's nice to have, you know, people that you see every day and have that community. Yeah, the thing I miss most about working actually is not the job so much, it was the people that I worked with. This would fill that void. This is front desk. You're greeting guests, making reservations, working 24 to 40 hours a week, 14.25 an hour. 
The site rent is $175 a month. You get a 25% store discount and a 25% propane discount. But guess what? If you work the whole season, they will refund your $175 that you spent for the entire season. And there are quite yeah. a few jobs like that. Yeah, they'll refund the, every month that you paid $175. Okay, so this one is a shuttle driver. So this, you know, this might be a perfect job for a lot of people. So you're gonna be driving, you're gonna be working 30 to 35 hours a week. You work from noon until nine. There's a break, like two hours in between from three to five, and you're driving people to the nearby national park. Now the compensation is not listed. You do get a store discount, and the site is 175 a month. Yes, and I know that campground that you're referring to, and that's a very nice campground and would cost you what probably if you were there for a month you'd be spending probably around 1500 bucks easily maybe more than that in season so that's the other thing is you're getting to be in these great places with you know and you get you know you get time off mm -hmm. so one thing i do want to say is that every campground is going to have a job description that suits it so it's going to be individual that's not you know it's not like working at mcdonald's right so every campground's going to have different pay and a different job description. Yeah, the, the dynamics of the job are gonna vary from place to place because, you know, the human factor. Yeah, you know, how do you, how do you get along with the manager? That's <laughs> that sort of thing. Right, right, and the different vibe and stuff. But at least that's the other thing. It's temporary. You're not signing up for, oh my gosh, right. I've gotta do it for right. years. You just do it for a season, and if, you, you know, if it doesn't fit for you, we'll then go on to the next one. And we met people at the KOA Point South that were doing exactly that. They just travel from KOA to KOA, staying three to six months at a time. Yeah, yeah. I remember the one couple that we met there. They were going to go from Point South mm -hmm. up to the KOA in, in Maine, near the um, Acadia. Well, let's talk about couples. You can actually do a job search as a couple. You can find couple jobs, and they will do the schedule so that you're aligned. So you, have, you work the same four days, and you have the same three days off. Right. The KOAs are always in a nice location. I mean, almost always in a nice location. So there's gonna be things you wanna see. And if you're working all the time, or if one person's on and the other person's off, um, that, could cause, that could cause some uh, stress. <laughs> well, maybe you want it that way. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah um, there's always that possibility. So one thing I wanna share with you is I did read every one of the job listings, all 200 of them. I wanted to just kind of get a feel of it. I found that the pay ranges on the low side for $10. I didn't see anything less than $10 an hour. The high side was 15 an hour. I did not see any site rent more than 175. Most of them were the, around 175. There were a couple that were 100 and there was a good many where you didn't pay at all for your site. And then as far as how many hours you work, you can work 10 to 20 hours a month or you could even be 40 hours a week. You get to decide how many hours you wanna work. Most of them are flexible. They're like full or part-time. So here's the thing, when you join the KOA Work Campers program and you do a job search, you can check, I wanna look for just couples jobs or just maintenance jobs or only jobs that are in Idaho, whatever, or only jobs that start in October or only jobs that are three months. I mean, you, any parameter just about you can think of you know, just maintenance jobs, just front desk jobs, you can put that in in the search and that will help narrow it down. The only way you can apply for these jobs, of course, or even search for them, is to join the KOA Work Campers program. Again, please tell them that we sent you. Yeah, we will get a little bit of a kickback if you sign up and use our name. So, and it just helps support our channel. Well, here's a job for a couple that's maintenance slash housekeeping. You're gonna keep the bathrooms, laundry, playground, and pool clean. You work 10 hours per week per person. You get a free back in site with cable, Wi-Fi, full hookups. The pay is 10 to $12 an hour for anything you work over those hours. And you also get free laundry. Now know that there are some positions too, like if you're an electrician or a plumber, there are positions for more in-depth maintenance too, or, but most of them are light maintenance. You know, there's probably a lot of retired pros out there, you know, that, that worked in the trades, you know, worked as electricians or plumbers. You're gonna uh, get more money too. And you're gonna get, yeah, you're gonna get compensated better. You know, so most of them say that you can work more hours than the minimum. So if you work 40 hours a week at $10 an hour, that's $1,600 a month. So if you have a small pension or if you're able to live lean, that's 1600 a month. You know, that may be enough to yeah. get you out here. Yeah. No rent, no utilities. This is for an outdoor associate. So you help with late guest arrivals. You're gonna welcome the after hours guests. 
do light maintenance. You pay $100 a month for your site rent. It's full or part-time. Every single hour you work is $15 an hour. I love that it's full or part-time. Most of the jobs I've seen are that. Mm. So, you know, you can work maybe mm -hmm. more one month than another. I know $10 an hour and f even $15 an hour is, is nothing these days. But, um, you know, it, it's just a way to... to to travel and get by. Now you may have a question about experience. Do you need experience? Now there is a reservation system with KOA. Most of them and the job listings I've seen, they are willing to train you. There's been a few that say, you know, they want you to know the reservation system. The KOA Work Hampers program has education and training online. They have webinars and stuff and I don't know for certain if they'll actually train you on the reservation system online, but I'm, I just want to say don't worry. There's plenty of jobs out there that say no experience, we will train. They'll train you on, on the job, on yeah. the job training. I bet that reservation system isn't that hard. It can't be that hard. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If, if you're even the least bit computer literate, you're con I'm sure you're going to be able to figure it out pretty quickly. So I don't know. I, I don't know what else we can say, you know, other than... Yeah, I mean, it's like we said, it's just... It's just a way for you to, to, to travel and get paid in the process. Right, without hustling at Amazon or picking sugar beets, yeah, right? Yeah, I yeah. I mean, not knocking those jobs, but they're very physical. I wouldn't want to be doing stupid labor at, at my age for eight hours a day or 10 hours a day or whatever it is. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm past that. Let us know if you've heard of any really cool and fun jobs to do while you're on the road. Yeah, because really the whole point of this is to help you come out here. We hear from so many of you that you just want to do this life. So if this helps you come out here, then that's what it's that's, all about. That's terrific, yeah.